I think I think there's been a period in both of those games where it, it took us time to, to download the data. That's the term we've been using. Um, it took us a while to download the data of the game. Um, once we downloaded the data, we were able to, to push forward and win win both games and, and win them in a not only win them because anyone can win games, but win them in the fashion that we've won them, playing the way that we wanted to play, opening the game up the way we wanted to open the game up. Um, you know, the thing for us as well is we, we're still sort of in the pre-season phase, uh, in that we've played four games so far, two real ones and two scrimmages. Um, so we're still learning things about our team, and one of the encouraging things for us in both of the games was that we had a really good half-time. Um, Strategically, we were able to make tweaks, make adjustments, um, which ultimately resulted in not only better performance but good results. More of the same of what we've done. Um, you know, a, a lot of our work not only is on the training field. We we do have a lot of visual learners in our group as well. So the visual side of things, with regards to to clips and and stuff in the office as well, is also key. They can be extra training sessions. Um, I've, I think I've said it before. We don't change for anyone. Um, so it's really just reinforcing the messages that we are trying to get across. Uh, there are always going to be tough games being in region. Um, you know, Young Harris have started with a very good schedule. They had Queens. Um, they they lost the game, but you know the result isn't reflective necessarily of their performance. They haven't they have a national championship winning coach. So on two days notice, that's going to be um, that's going to be a, a good test for us. Um, the USC Aiken game on Friday night is, or Friday afternoon is going to be a, a, a huge game. You know they have they have done really well in, in terms of some of the things performance wise. Um, they've got a good squad. Um, they, they they also have a good coaching staff. Uh, so not only are we expecting good physical battles, we're expecting good tactical battles too. You know we've 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 learned that we're a good team <laughs> first and foremost. Um, we've learned that not only um, can we handle little bits of adversity that we can that we can make the adjustments needed to get through the game. Um, like I said, I mean, you know, I, I've often tossed and turned about it and, and really at this stage of the season getting results is great, but if you can get performances too, then that's going to set you up long term and we feel like we're getting both, so we're excited with that, we're, we're excited at the opportunity to keep working um, and we're excited that, you know, we, we are nowhere near our potential yet. I think the team is very confident and I think we never actually felt like that. Um, we go to the games and we have a, a strategy. Uh, we know like how we're going to play. We we feel confident about our own position. We don't worry about it, each other because we we know that like the midfielders know what to do, the fullbacks, the defenders, so you're worried about, about yourself and you just want to be pumped up and start a game. As you told the story, um, I was a little resistant for at first for the number nine, but as soon I talked to my dad and he explained to me what it actually means, I actually felt very honored that he wanted me to wear that jersey. But you know, when you play, you don't actually think about the number. You just want to play. You want to do your best. Um, I'm happy that I'm, I got a good start. Um, the goals came because you know the team is playing well. Uh, it's easier to be on a, a number nine in the team that the ball gets in the box, you know, I don't have to dribble the entire team, you know. All of my goals, if you see, uh, I was in the box, you know, I receive a ball from someone, I just had to take a touch and shoot. So it's it's easy to be a number nine when the team plays well. We definitely want to uh, still win the feed. I actually talked to Sean and I was like, we're going to start conference and we're going to be in the feed. Because, you know, we are confident and the confidence doesn't come as like, oh, we're going to win. But it's like a team is gonna gonna have to want to win more than we want, and we want a lot. You know, they're gonna have to put more effort than we're gonna put, and we're certainly gonna put 101 percent. That's our uh, our quote for games. You know, 101 percent of effort, 100 percent of committed, and I feel everybody's in the same page. Uh, of course, it's hard to play two games in three days, um, but hopefully, we're gonna get a good start. We're gonna uh, start winning the game and you know get it recover as fast as we can with the gps units it's just so much easier because they can manage our uh, training sessions they can manage how much we've been running and for uh, how many sprints you know because like my position is different i'm not going to run as much as a fullback well but i'll probably have different accelerations and stuff like that so it's awesome that they get to manage that physical part 
So we trust them in that part. And we just actually, I'm just worried about how, how we're gonna celebrate the next go. <laughs>